What is going on everybody, Director J here back with another video. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a tutorial. You guys requested me to show you guys how to do that little flicker slash glitch effect on my opening title. Uh, this right here. So basically I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that little easy effect. It's pretty simple, quick. So you're going to want to go ahead and drag your image or title onto this timeline. I'm going to go ahead and scale this up pretty fast center in the middle all right cool so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click off opacity and then go into your effects tab go in go down video effects go to distort distort and then go to lens distortion and go ahead and drag it onto your clip so after you've done that you want to click off fill alpha because we're going to be messing around with the horizontal decentering and when you do that this little white stuff pops up so you don't want that so when you click this off that goes away so simple as that man just click that back to zero all right to get the glitch effect you're going to want to go ahead and cut up your your image into different little pieces so you want to press c to get your razor tool and just kind of randomize the frames you cut. The more random, the better. So I'm gonna go over one, uh, go over one, and then go over two more. One, two, cut, one, cut, one, two, three, cut, one, two, cut. You guys can actually follow along if you guys wanna get the same uh, amount of numbers as me. One, two, three, four, five, cut, one, two, cut, one, cut, one, two, three, cut, one cut one two cut one two three cut that should be good enough all right so once you've got those cuts in you want to go to the first clip and start the glitch so go to horizontal decentering and just warp it down warp it down and then go to the next one and warp it the opposite way like that not too much like that Go to the next clip, warp it again the opposite way, and then you're just gonna keep doing this with all the other clips. It's pretty simple, pretty easy, and then maybe have this clip a little bit less warped, and have that one stay like that. And then go down. It's just honestly just randomizing it. Uh, there's no precise way to do it uh, the more random the better to be honest Oops. Okay. all right and then just leave the last one regular so let's see how that looks so far all right so that's pretty looks pretty good um it's gonna look way better once we put the flicker effect and that's what we're gonna do right now so in order to get it to flicker like a light bulb going on and off you're gonna want to do the same thing but instead of messing with the horizontal decentering you're gonna want to mess with the opacity so the first one kind of wanted to have like really faint really light and then the next one bring it bright but not 100% bring it like around 70 then next one low the next one bright again not a hundred and then the next one lower than that one and then the next one a little bit higher a little bit higher like that and then the next one you could do it like really low again like an eight and then the next one since it's like a little flip right here, just you can leave it at 100, that's fine. And then the next one, bring it back down. Next one, leave it at that at 100. Next one, bring it back down. Last one, of course, you're gonna leave it at 100. So let's just play that back. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and render it out. Rendering, rendering, rendering. Let's go. All 
Free up. All right, let's go. All right, it's gonna render now. All right, there we go. And Premiere is like having this little glitch thing. I don't know why it's doing this. It shouldn't do this. This little screen here. But you can fix that. If it's happening to you, you can fix that by just dragging it up to the next uh, thingy, 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 thingy here. All right, so that looks pretty good. Pretty similar to the one right here, to my original one. So let's just play them back. That's the original. And then that's the one we just made. Pretty similar. And also, you can change the color on them. So let me just change the color right here. So you want to go to your color, color tab right here. And then go to temperature or tint. You can either mix them together as well. And just do this to a couple of clips. Make this one red. And make this one blue. All right, cool. We play this back. Oh, that was on. Take this purple out. Feels too, too much. Zero. You don't want to do it on a clip where it's long. You want to do it on a clip like where it's really short. This should be all right. Let me see. Okay. See, that was good. So that's basically all it is. It's pretty simple and easy to do. So you guys should try it out yourself. If you guys found that this video was helpful and if you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more content in the future. Uh, I'll be back with you guys soon. Director J, out.